So let's say that you were stopped by the cops or like an immigration officer. It's weird that the American Civil Liberties Union would ask me to do this. It's not like I have ever had problem with... Oh. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot about that. Sorry. Continue. I'll do it. Let's go. Let's make this happen. There are some handy things to know if you happen to be in that situation. I think up until this very moment when I was stopped by the cops, I was using the rules that Jay-Z said in 99 Problems. We all know, like, the basics, you know, like the stuff that we learned on Law & Order. You have the right to remain silent, you have a right to an attorney, anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. But there's some things that you probably want to say out loud, like, clearly, like, really let the officer know exactly what you mean, you know? Like, that whole remain silent, some, you can say, like, I, I, I am remaining silent. I mean, just say it immediately and then just shut up. Like, just I mean, that's all you had to do. And if you actually get arrested, say out loud, clearly, I want an attorney. And also remember, you can tell the cops, I do not give you permission to search my shit. You probably shouldn't say shit. You can say stuff, car, my house, my belongings. But you probably... Probably should probably steer clear of the whole, don't search my shit. <laughs> but you can totally think it. And please, for the love of God, do not resist arrest, okay? I know sometimes like you might be, you might even be thinking to yourself, this motherfucker is arresting me and I didn't even do shit, son. You don't know me. You do not know me. Just go along with it, you know? Like get your attorney, call your local chapter of the ACLU, okay? But just, just, don't, don't fight it. Like, just make sure your hands are clearly visible at all times, you know? We don't want any of those, oops, I didn't know what he was reaching for moments. You know, we don't, we don't, we don't need that, okay? And another thing, if a cop questions you and you ask, can I leave? And he's like, yeah, you can leave. Just walk away, leave. You, you don't have to continue past that point. I'm not saying like act a fool and throw deuces up and be like, F your couch, cop. I'm not saying all that. And please note, these rules apply even if you don't have your papers, okay? If you don't have your papers, you still have like these weird things called constitutional rights, you know? <laughs> even though some people try to pretend like you don't. <laughs> but at the same time, don't like lie about your immigration status, okay? Don't like hand over like fake papers that you got from some dude in a trench coat and a funky hat. In my mind, that's where you would get like fake papers from like a dude in a funky hat and a trench coat, you know? He probably just smells like cigarettes and regret. Also, let me say this for my hermanos out there, okay? No yultices documentals falsos. Solo guarda el silencio. That doesn't even sound real. Like, that sounds like I made up a language, but I, I assure you, they, they checked. I'm su supposedly I'm saying it kinda right. For the love of all things holy, write everything down. Document the shit out of all this stuff. Get badge numbers, car numbers, the agency that the officer was with, uh, uh, the, the information of witnesses that like witnessed what happened, okay? Get all of it, document this. But uh, please don't use the let me get your contact info line on a girl to get her number. You know, like, hey, you know, I was illegally arrested, so uh, you should give me your information so that you can be a witness. You know what I'm saying, girl? Yeah. If you feel that you've been treated unfairly, contact your local chapter of the ACLU, okay? You don't have to take abuse and just go about your day. In America, people have rights, even though some people would prefer that they didn't. They still do. Remember that. To learn more, go to www.aclu.org forward slash know your rights.